this is where I started. Me and, and only one tailor. And now we are shifting to this area, which is a little bit more bigger. From the two tailors now, we are working together, about three, 20, uh, 23 people of us, doing weaving, tailoring, and designing all together. Rinalda Lima started her company, Quali Cloth, in the 1990s. She started it with only two sewing machines, but now she employs 23 people. The tailors will soon be working in this new workshop. From uh, sewing from the, to the friends and neighbors, they were interested with my, 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 my products. They keep on telling others, so the market grew. After the market grew in a lot, I had to, uh, to hire some people, and now we are about 23 of us. Because of the company's growth, she had to invest in new machinery. This is a joke machine, this is an industrial one, of which uh, it can sew anything. How hard, how light, it can sew this one. It only depends on the type of the needle that you use, yeah. And coming down, they are all the same, but that one is for finishing touches. This one is uh, for cutting. You can cut at the bundle even 150 pieces at one time. So this will make a production uh, go more quick. Currently, much of the tailoring is done in residential areas scattered over the town. This is one of the locations where Rinalda grew her company by making textiles for a variety of clients. Here we are making uh, house furnishings. These are cushion covers and uh, some of them are uniforms for the university people. Yeah, it's really shifting. Nowadays people really want quality product which is real, the, uh, real pays the value of the money. Like nowadays, uh, we have been used to uh, get stuff from Far East, from different areas. But nowadays, here, people are now uh, want tailor-made product. Using our own Tanzanian cotton, or our own uh, spin yarn, we can produce a stuff like this. This is completely hand-woven, completely handmade hand selected threads so this involve a lot of people to make this thing happen so we create a lot of employment by just making this stuff to be like this nowadays also a lot of uh, local people they really want this stuff because they want something quality by price we are a little bit higher but people are, are ready to pay for the premium provided they, they have um, real satisfied with the product yeah, and we really make up our, 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 our customers to be satisfied for what they really want. Because we get the ideas what they want, and we really do what they want. Quali Cloth is just about to deliver uniforms to the University of Dar es Salaam. 300 pairs of trousers, shirts and skirts have to be finished by the end of the week. Uh, the uniforms are for the university. For the international uh, trade fair that they are going to, 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 to commence this month, at the end of this month, we are making trousers and shirts for them. To deliver the, the, the uniforms for the university, is about 300 pieces. Yeah, we want this tender because it will advertise and our product we are uh, uh, chosen because of the quality. They are all traditional, they are all local material made. That's the speciality of it. The new markets want specialized product, customized to the customer's need. Uh, this is very important because it boosts sales. If we get uh, like this, maybe three clients per year, it makes a very big difference in a company. Quali Club started in 1991 and has grown from 2 to 23 employees. Now it's opening a new workshop and is selling handcrafted textiles to a variety of customers, ranging from large scale institutions to tourists. Ronaldo Lima is proud of what she has achieved. Very proud because that's real, it's um, satisfying my, my, my heart because uh, my aim is not only to sell and get money, also a person to use what I, my idea is and use what uh, I've been planning to, to make.
brighter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, my dream is to have more people employed in it and um, to produce more to supply, to fulfill the local people with their needs and the global market. Uh, what I could also dream most is when you go to each shop selling the same product as our product, like to the supermarket, you find our product. And if you go to any house, any house, you find our product. That's my dream. Because I know by that we will be producing more, more people will be getting income from that, and the nation also will get revenue through that, and good standard of life to everybody. Yeah.